Welcome to this Bifum View tutorial. My name is Hannah and today we're going to have a first look at the visualization tab. In previous tutorials we have worked in the image processing tab, we have learned how to load your data files and how to process them in order to get information. Today we're going to have a look at the visualization tab where you can create plots. Before you can start working in this tab you first have to load your data. You can see that I have different options for loading the data. I can subtract a reference time point in case that I have split my experiment into different folders but I want to have the time point referring to a previous or different folder. I can choose my fluorescence channel to load. In this case we load channel 1 because channel 1 is the channel that we have segmented. So you need segmented files in order to use the visualization. We can also limit our maximum frame to load. Per default it's set to the number of files you have, in this case 7, but you can also choose to load a lower number of files to save time. So I will now click on load data and the data is loaded to my workspace. You can see that four files have been loaded, the first four because I chose to limit the maximum frame. Here we have the file list, which is similar to the file list in the image processing tab. We can see the file name here, as well as the time at which the image was taken, the number of cells that was found during the segmentation, and some other properties that were calculated during the parameter calculation. Up here, I can choose my image range. This range will determine which images contribute to the plot. So if I only want to plot one specific time point, I can select an image and by clicking on selected image, choose this time point here. Over here, we have the different plotting options. There will be additional tutorials explaining in detail what all of these do. We will only have a quick glance at them for now. This table here summarizes all of the parameters that are available to me for plotting. I can choose to either plot global biofilm parameters. In this case, only one number is calculated per time point. Or I can look at single object parameters, where the parameter is calculated for each individual cube. I can filter with the search bar here. For example, filtering for the word cube and only parameters are displayed which contain this word. In the filtering gating area, you can choose filtering expressions in order to first remove some of the cells before plotting the image. An additional tutorial will discuss how to work with this filtering option in detail. In this area here, we have different plotting options. We can choose our plot type as well as the axis that will be used for the plot and some properties of these axes. An additional tutorial will talk about the options in detail and there will also be tutorials discussing each of the different plot types. The advanced options enable you to apply a custom script on your data before plotting or on your plot after plotting. They will be discussed in an additional tutorial as well. Finally, by clicking on the button plot, you can perform your plot. Before you do that, you should decide if you want to save your plot automatically as image files, in this case PNG and EPS, if you want to override existing files, or if you would like to add your plot to the current figure in case you want to plot several parameters into one figure. So now you have gotten an overview over the different parts of the visualization tab, and other tutorials will discuss each of them in particular. 